Hello YouTube, what's up? It is Wolf Bluff here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of our Animal Crossing New Leaf mini series. Uh, in the last episode, we finished off all of Isabel's tasks and uh, paid off our house. And today, we are being introduced with a man named Pete. <laughs> uh, I just started the game and homie Pete was hanging out. Uh, he is a little mail carrier dude. So, uh, ah, hello there, Mayor. I've got a delivery for you. I already put it in your mailbox, so be sure to check it later. When your mailbox is full, I can't cram any more in there, so don't forget to collect your mail, okay? When you have mail, you'll see a blinking sign like you see now. That's how you'll know. Well, I gotta get moving. I'll see you later. See you later, Pete. See you later, Skater. Yeah, uh, Pete's actually been in a few different Animal Crossing games and is definitely a fan favorite. Um, oh, that's right. I still have all this stuff in my inventory. <gasps> From my mom. What's it like living on your own for the first time? I'm sending you a little housewarming gift. Good luck, mom. Aww. An unknown sender. Congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become mayor. <gasps> Ooh, but one thing led to another and now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. <gasps> Whoa, so we actually got written, written, wrote, wrote-ed. <laughs> uh, we got a letter sent to us, there we go, from the guy who was actually supposed to be the mayor, which is pretty fucking dandy. But uh, yo, look at our house. No longer are we in a tent. Oh, what's the date? What's the technical date? 11-1, that's right. I missed Halloween. I'm sorry, y'all. I worked on Halloween in real life. I thought I could get back in time to record a video, but no dice. But entering our house, we will see that we have a visitor. Sorry to intrude, Mayor. Ah, I love, I love, 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 love how you hear bells jingling, or like coins jingling as she's walking. Next time she does it, I'll be silent. I see your house is all finished. Congratulations. The lumber smell from a new home is so nice, isn't it? That reminds me, I brought over some wallpaper to celebrate your new home. Here you go. <gasps> Thanks, homie. The paw print wall I just gave you is now in your pockets. Select it and choose hang on wall to choose the room's wallpaper. You should try it when you get a chance. I hope you like the design. You can change the carpet as well by choosing spread on floor from your pockets. I hope you have fun redecorating your walls and floors with all the great designs out there. <gasps> oh dear, I forgot. There's actually something else I need to tell you. When inside your house, you can press <laughs> to change the camera angle in the room. You can also use it to zoom and change your point of view. Did you already know that? Oh, and if you press the switch on the lower screen, you can make the entire room lighter or darker. Since it's your home, you should take time and enjoy each and every angle of it. Well, I'll be going now. Thanks for having me. You could kind of hear it for like a split second there. But uh, yo, let's get some lights on in this bitch and put up our little gift from Isabel. Ah, the paw print wall. I love it so much. All right, how is this display box? Oh, it's literally just a box. Wow, thanks, Mom. <laughs> really fucking appreciate that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get out of this dark, dreary place, and let's go explore. Now then, sometimes bringing up our map on the bottom screen here, sometimes new people move in on further days. It's been about two or three days uh, of real time since I last recorded, but I don't think I see anyone new here yet. So I guess let's uh, let's just move along. All right. Oh, chicken! Benedict. Oh, it's Josh. Hey there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I forgot that he does that. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Let's chat, dude. A mayor should talk to all the people in town. Actually, everyone here likes blabbing, so don't be shy. People will be more than happy to share tips with you about settling, settling into life here. We're all really excited to see how bluffing will change with you here. Dude, me too. Anyway, if there's something you need help with, you should talk to Isabel at the town hall. She'll probably give you lots of advice on town. Uh -huh. How did he did that, dude? Uh, so right there, you saw a little four-leaf clover. Um, technically, oh, that's what I got a fishing rod, so I can't catch that dude. Um, oh, lion! 
I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Claudia, hello Josh. Nice day to get a few things done, isn't it? So, what did you want? Let's chat. You're all settled in now, aren't you Josh? Well, now comes the real question. How do you want to decorate? Because whether you're in a tent or a mansion, you have options. Go see Timmy and Tommy. Yeah, so uh, in the beginning of the game, you won't really get to know the animals. Uh, ooh, mush? Woohoo! I thought it was a mushroom. It's a mush closet. Huh. That's pretty bitchin'. <laughs> um, so in the beginning of the game, a lot of uh, the animals commentary is going to be mostly tutorial stuff. Um, which, you know, sucks, but I understand why they do that. Um, and then, okay, hopefully I'm a little better at doing the thing this time. Alright, come on, let's just... Boom! I know, I was about to say, I knew it wouldn't be that one. It was that rock last time we did this. Um, so you don't really get to know your animals for a little bit, but, um, you know, once you do, it, it's all the more worth it. Um, but what I was going to say is, um, if you leave your town, even for a day, honestly, then, uh, some weeds will start sprouting, which is never a good thing. It, uh, makes your animals dislike the town a little more. And, I mean, just, who wants weeds in their town? Like, come on, man. What do I want to sell? Um, let's see. I need a, I need to, um, donate those. Let's see, I have a monster mask, but I guess it's already Christmas time. Not Christmas time. Wow! My brain is just straight up not working. <laughs> uh, Halloween already passed. Look, but actually, pause. That's woke, not broke, because my brain is working. Any holiday after Halloween doesn't matter except Christmas. I mean, like, Thanksgiving is cool and all, but, like... Christmas just beats it out so much. All right. See, I think I'm getting a little better at DualShock 4 Animal Crossing. <laughs> and it's funny because uh, at the time of recording this, the video probably already went up. But uh, I recorded a video with Pecanjo. Um, you guys know. I'll get to this later. <laughs> Uh, you guys already know that uh, I did a video with Mr. Picanjo in Animal Crossing New Leaf before where I showed off my real town. So uh, if you guys, since again this is only a mini series, um, if you guys wanted to go check that out, then uh, I'll put a link in the description. Or you can go check out my collabs playlist. But um, yeah, it shows how advanced the town gets in the future. But um, I was, dude I told you, I don't... I, I'm so used to my museum being on the right. Um, it shows what the town looks like when it gets a little further. Um, but... I don't actually remember where I was going with this. <laughs> this is what happens when you record super, super, super late at night. Ooh, oh. oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Bluffin Museum. Huh? Ooh, how may I be of service? Uh, I don't think I have any fossils, so dude, just take my stuff. Take that. Take that. Bang. Hoot hoot. Oh, several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes! You are glad to take these off your hands. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Alright, see you later, homie. It's always a good thing to clear up your inventory a little bit. But uh, actually, what I want to do while we're up here is go talk to Mr. Tom Nook. Because I'm sure he has some stuff to say to me after I paid off my home. What up, dude? Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, it's Josh. So good to see you, hmm? Your home has now been built, yes? What do you think? Your house is now the stuff of dreams, huh? And now the numbers. I deducted your down payment, leaving a grand total of 39,800 bells. That's the total amount of your paltry little loan. Uh-huh, yeah, just a mere trifle. Uh, so, this kind of gives you guys a good idea of the main purpose of Animal Crossing. It's a life sim game where you honestly kind of just go in and chill and play the game. But, um... One of the big things is you want to grow your town and grow your house. And uh, 
Tom Nook is the man of possible, making it all possible. <laughs> all right. Uh, so basically, what he's talking about is something called the Happy Home Academy, which is an in-game rating system of your house, and you get different rewards and stuff like that based off of it. Oh, that was odd. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm dead broke, so let's go find this money rock. All right, we are on a quest. Um, actually, before I forget, let's go over and I will show you. Oh, I don't have enough money. <gasps> I'm broke. Okay. Um, let's grab all the daily stuff like we normally do. Get a fossil, get a fossil. Get this bitch up because I'm not running a janky town. God damn it. All right. And then, damn it. I really wanted that to be the money rock. Uh, ooh, we have someone home here. Oh, God, but a rock. Okay. Ah, oh, God. I honestly thought that that was a fake rock. So, thank God it was not. Oh, thank God it wasn't the money rock, honestly. Right, who do we got? <gasps> Cute ass bunny. What up, Chrissy? Yay, it's Josh. Come spend the afternoon. Afternoon? Afternoon with me, Sparkles? What's up? Let's talk. Have you had a bite of a famous bluffin orange yet? They're totally tasty. It's easy to shake fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Stop giving me tutorials. So, uh, yeah. Probably the best thing to do right now would have been to get some money. But I'm kind of more focused on finding that money rock. Ah, so this right here. This shows that someone is going to move in. And their name is Zell. I don't think I've actually ever had Zell in my town. I know I've heard of Zell, and I want to say that Zell is, well, a gazelle, but <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, so I'm actually pretty excited to see who that is. Alright, money rock, money rock, money rock, yes! Oh, and we are perfectly set up for it now, so hopefully this time, you all will see. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, oh, so that is the maximum amount of times that you can get money from the money rock. Uh, it can go all the way around the rock, and that's why I do the two circles, or not circles, but the two diggings here and he like over here, because some people do it like this, but then you lose out on a money bag. So uh, the the way that I usually do it kind of guarantees that uh, you'll you'll luck out. But uh, let's just bring all this over, and now we are f fucking stinking rich. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you know what? While I'm here, let me introduce you guys to another little thing. Uh, the reason I kept this perfect orange, which I believe I already explained, but just in case I didn't. Um, the main fruit in your town uh, will always, on your first day, sprout a perfect variant of it. Um, and only perfect variants of the fruit that grow in your town can grow in your town, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, but they sell for hello guap in uh, retail. So let's see. Uh, I'm probably gonna sell that. Probably gonna sell that. Probably gonna s keep that for now. Common wall and a monster mask. Okay. Well, now that we have money, let me come over here and show you guys what this place is all about because it is super, super cool. Let me introduce you all to actually one of my favorite people in Animal Crossing. Katrina! Kihomoata! Kihomoata ta ta! Yeah ta 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 ta! Oh my you! Are you being surrounded by the bright aura of many stars? I, Katrina, will reveal your future and the way to capture fortunes untold for a mere 500 bells. Uh, everything costs money these days. Very well, let me bring your star matrix into view. Have a seat! Kiha homo ta ta ta, kiha homo ta ta ta, inna rosha mo ta. Yeah. Ah yes, it is coming to view. A store somewhere prior to opening hours, filled with spotlight products. Inside are the joyful faces of two twin raccoons. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh yes, I can. I see good fortune upon items. Socks. This item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. 
socks. Fucking socks. I paid $500 for you to tell me about socks? Since you are already wearing a lucky item now, I think you will be fine for today. May happiness find you and yours. And remember that bad times are just times that are bad. Oh, I love that line. That, that, that's like a line that like a visco girl would put on like a coffee mug. <laughs> um, so explaining Katrina a little more. Basically what she does is, um, is she will tell you what item is a lucky item on any given day that she's in the in the town and say you're wearing a lucky item or actually she'll tell you about unlucky items too and uh, if you're wearing an unlucky item then you know you'll get less money from things uh like from money rocks villagers might be a little sour to you um let's see if you shake a tree you'll get a beehive falling from it more often Ooh. I don't want the fucking ugly buffet, but I will take this from you, dude. Um, so it's important to buy a lot of stuff from Timmy and Tommy Nook, uh, especially in the beginning of the game. Oh, wait, I need a bug net. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Dude, let me back in. I need it. I need it. Um, yeah, it's a really good thing to spend a lot of money here because that eventually lets their shop upgrade a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a bug net. Ah, uh, net. I am interested in it. Thank you kindly. And no, I do not need you to show me how to use it. We're professionals up here. But you know what? This episode's going on a little long, but I really want to go clothes shopping before the end of it. As y'all can see, I have my priorities straight. <laughs> Oh, there we go. What's up, Mabel? And hello, Sable. I just can't let my claws stray away from all this work. I'm sorry. Ooh, we actually have some kind of cool looking stuff here. I can't tell if I think this shirt is ugly or not, but I'm definitely buying it. And I'm definitely buying this MVP shirt, too. You're damn right I am. But what I'm really looking for today... Are some accessories. So let's go see what La Belle has for us. Oh, <gasps> brood. Yes. The big bros hat. Not a bad choice. 320. Dude, all day. Take my money. All right. It is time to get all flashy and fashionable. Uh, Let's put on the danger tee, dude. That thing is kind of dope looking. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yes. Let's see. Oh, do I want the end now, dude? I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie to you. This is kind of a tight fit. <laughs> Thanks. Alrighty, y'all. But I uh, think I'm going to call this episode there. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this mini series, then be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos just like it. Um, I'll probably do a few more episodes, but who knows this mini series just might turn into a long series <laughs> uh, In the next episode, we'll finish finding our fossils go talk to Isabel and uh, See what else we can do in our town. Maybe finally buy a bed that that might be a good idea <laughs> uh, That being said, thank y'all for watching. It's been Wolf Bluff signing out Bye bye